is John with We Love Soaps TV, and I'm here with Sarah Brown and Eric Martzoff. Thanks, thanks you guys for talking with us today at the Days of Our Lives fan event. Our pleasure. pleasure. So I got to ask you, if someone were to tune into Days for the very first time, how might you describe who you are in relation to each other in 30 seconds or less? I am Go. the girl who's oh. come into Brady's life to mix it all up, make him absolutely crazy, and make it so he can't think of anything else but this woman in a short skirt. Very good. Very cool. And I would say that I am the guy who's completely confused by the mixed signals that this beautiful yet challenging woman th that has come into Brady's life like a tornado has put upon him. It seems like everything else in his life is second to this, this, this creature that has just engulfed him in, in, in terror and emotion. And this is the most dramatic thing I've ever said in a, in a microphone ever. I love it. He's so put upon. <laughs> No, he's di I'm digging every moment of, it, moment of it, actually. So, Sarah, Madison um, runs her own company, and I'm curious, uh, to do the role, do you model your character on any particular successful businesswoman? Myself? Awesome. I run my own company since I was 19 years old. So, I'm the CEO, CFO of Eyebrow Incorporated, and obviously, I'm drawing from the great CEOs of the world, like Oprah Winfrey and... But I'm a businesswoman, and I've been running my company for over a decade, so I, I know a little bit about that. Great. Typecasting. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and Eric, I know you, um, you, if I'm correct, were in an episode of Smallville playing a very cool superhero called Booster Gold not too Did long ago. It? Totally saw it, yeah. yeah. I saw it. it was amazing. That was fantastic. What, um, what was it like doing that, and did you, did you know anything about that character before you took the role? I honestly knew nothing about the character. Trust me, but I did my research before I went to Vancouver to shoot it. I uh, I found out that he was you know was a member of the Justice League. I mean, this guy's an actual superhero, you know, right up there with the best of them. So I I felt the responsibility to really familiarize myself with the character. Actually, you see this jacket I'm wearing. This was from the Booster Gold measurements from the actual costume. The guys that made the costume they actually made me a jacket from the booster mold or whatever. No way. Yeah, and uh, it's good to be the king. He's so nice. Yeah, I know. They they do a really good How job up there. How handsome did he look in that superhero outfit? That was that was an awesome what? episode. That was fantasy. Come on. Yeah. He was he was a clown, but no, he was, was a great. lovable clown. I I really was, was happy so with funny. the way it turned out actually and the Smallville folks were great to work with. So, if you can play a superhero on TV, I highly recommend doing it. Because it's awesome. And it got a lot of credit with my kids, too. Oh, my gosh, of oh, course. Great. Booster Gold says, sit down and be quiet. They do it now. I started my career as a superhero. Really? Superhero. Tell us about that. I was Caitlin Starr on VR Troopers. Trooper Transform. Oh. Wow. How awesome. Hey. Just a bunch that of superheroes fun. here. doing it. Lois Lane. She basically was a journalist who would go into the closet <laughs> and change into a superhero outfit. Not really into she the closet. Went into the closet? We'd take the amulet out and sort of trooper transform. But yeah, that's how I started. So now my daughter's 13 and I look forward to her. <laughs> Not really, but I kind of look forward to her watching that and laughing at me. You got with it. She'll me. love it. She'll love it. <laughs> My, my boys loved it. I bet. That's great. Now, what are you hoping that your characters go? Because it looks like, you know, there's, there's this kind of romance starting to happen. And where are you hoping to, to take it? To the bedroom. Straight out. Well, okay. Hey, you know, that's a direct answer. Yeah, one <laughs> like we said, mind. spicing it up over here. Um, I, you know, I think it's interesting <laughs> as it develops. It's not a love-hate, but there's definitely, there's a lot of tension because we work together. So there's that, God, I'm really falling for this guy. Now the wall's got to come down because we work together and this is not appropriate. And because of that, I think it fuels the romance even more because it's that untangible uh, love affair where you're really falling in love with somebody who you can't be involved with, you know? And there's that little bit of you that goes, yes, I can, and I want to make this happen. So I hope that the two of them become great allies great business partners, and great lovers. I couldn't have said it any better than that, actually. Super but I, I mean, I actually think, uh, I personally have always had girlfriends and my, my wife have all been out of a work scenario. It's always been someone you meet at the office, technically. And there's always, yeah, you're right, there's that forbidden element of, I can't do this, this isn't, this isn't professional. And that's fun to play. Because when, when you're not supposed to do it, but you want to do it, it's fun to watch. Yeah. And we're having such a good time taping this stuff. I know that people are going to have an even better time watching it because more of the same. I love what they're doing right now. So I hope the future holds more of what they're doing because they're right on target with it. Keeping it real, you know, laughter, tears, all of it. Like a real relationship. But I think that's what's important so that people can relate to the characters. Absolutely. 
So one last question. Um, with the holidays coming up, um, can each of you guys tell us what's your absolute favorite holiday tradition? I'm excited about getting the Christmas tree up and decorated and having everybody come over for the tree decor, you know, the, the tree trimming party. That's what I love. I love getting the Christmas tree and I love decorating it with friends and food and drinks. It's funny you mentioned drinks because my favorite... <laughs> It's funny you mentioned drinks is one of my favorite holiday traditions, and I, I eat food as well during the holidays. But His favorite tradition is drinking. <laughs> Lisa makes this whiskey sour slush oh, no. that she's had in her family for generations. Like her great 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 grandmother made this thing, and it's I don't even know what's in it. She just makes it and gives it to me, and it's just oh, it's so good. Oh, I imagine I can't. Come over and have some. I'll bring I some can't to the. Touch whiskey. It's I was going to say I'll bring some to set, but that wouldn't be correct. It is not gluten free. You know, and when when the conversation gets to to brown liquor, it's time to time to end it. So. <laughs> Thanks, thanks you guys. Thank you, <laughs> my pleasure. Thanks.